Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is October 19th, 2022, and we're back from our daily Nerdle. As always, please take a moment to like and subscribe, it really does help me a lot. But for now, let's get into today's puzzle. And that should be plus equals 12 here. Alright, we do have a... Ooh, this is really interesting. Tons and tons of information off the bat. Will you look at this? So, first off, we don't have anything 0 through 3, which is uh, very interesting. Second, we have we know where this uh, equals goes. We have a two-digit answer, but also we do have two operators. So, this is going to be uh, something plus something times something else equals something over here. Now, the lowest that we can do... We can't do a 4 here. We could theoretically do a 4 times 4 plus 5. Um, so the lowest we can do on this side is actually very low. It's 21. Uh, lowest we can do on this side is 44. So I think, let's start there. Let's try and find this 44. Um, and test what's coming on this side. So... How should we make this 44? If we do 4 times 9, we get 36. Add 8 to it. That sounds good enough to me. Start there. All right. This is going to narrow it down quite a bit. So, what we have, we're not going to be able to reach 94. That would be 9 times 9 plus 13, which is not a single digit. So, that's not going to be a 9. It's not going to be an 8. It's not going to be a 4. So, this is going to be 54, 64, 74. All viable options. Let's start here. Let's actually try and make sure to get all three of these in the next guess, if we can. That sounds a little bit tricky. Let's start here with, uh, if we do 7 times 9, we get 63. We're already a bit high. So let's do 6 times 9. 54. Hmm. So that can't be, because we're going to end up... We don't have anywhere to add a single-digit answer. So this just cannot be. We need to create... Well, can we, no, we can't do zero. Perfect. We've already ruled this out. So because this equation, uh, 6 times 9, ends in a 4, and we need to add a, a single digit that is not zero to that, we cannot end up with a 4. So it's not a 6. So, going back to that 7, can we rule this out? Can we actually figure out exactly what this is? This would be 63. So, in order to get to something over here, all we could do would be a 1. Alright. And we can't have a 1, so if this is a 5, 45 plus another 9 would equal 54. And voila, there it is. I like that one. That was a good one, especially where we ended up on that second guess. Lots of, lots of good logic working its way into there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily math puzzles. That's all for now, and we'll see you all tomorrow.